Greetings. The following video will briefly demonstrate the Amazon product scraper. I have the setup package on my desktop here, so I'll run that. This is how you would install the product on your machine. And we'll see it's quite easy to install, just a few clicks, and we're done. And we get a shortcut on our desktop, and using that we'll launch the program, and then we'll do a brief tour of the program here. Uh, let's open it up a bit. So we have categories, currently selected by default as electronics. Um, we have uh, some keywords put in here by default for us. This is a uh, text list, so this could have come from some file we have, let's say, or a column in an Excel file. We could have pasted this all in here. The more you paste, the more it just scrolls. So you can put as many as you like in here. And what happens is um, each line in this box is treated like a query. So tablet Samsung is a query like this. So a query is done for tablet Android, a query for tablet Apple, a query for tablet Samsung in this case. And when the query is done, we can get pages. Uh, in this case, we see there's 400 pages. I think it is, yeah, 400 pages for this result. And uh, we can get all of them by checking the all box or we can specify a range of pages. In this case, we're going to get from the first page to the first page, which is just one page, the first page. And that's going to happen for each of these queries when we click the Fetch Data button. So let's do that. And we'll see the data come back. One tab will appear for each of the queries run here. <coughs> Excuse me. And so we see our three tabs for our three lines. Um, and we can see what we get is uh, all sortable, if you like. You can sort on any of the columns. Price, regular price. We have the first more buying choice, uh, more buying choices, um, how many offers, what the condition was. We get the URL for that. We have the star rating that was left for the product. We can sort on that as well. And we get the URL for the product. So, example, if I paste this guy in here, we should get that specific product. There he is. And we also get uh, the image URL as well as the category and keywords that we used to generate this result. And then it comes time to say, all right, we've got the data we want. Let's export it. Um, the default is just uh, these two checkboxes are not checked. And we have a particular tab selected, and we say export data. So the selected tab is going to be put out to a CSV file for us. Let's call this test1 on my desktop. And there it is. Test1 on my desktop is that one tab that was selected. And uh, we could say all results and single file. That would get everything into one file. Let's call that test2. So everything currently loaded into one file called test2. There it is. All the results. As well, we might have several here that we don't want mixed into one file. In that case, we'll take uncheck the single file box. We'll still say all results, and we'll say export. And it'll ask us for a folder. So we'll make a new folder called tests on my desktop. And say OK. And we'll see that folder here. And we see a file get generated for each of the tabs currently loaded in the interface. Um, you get the name, which is uh, the keywords that were used, which is also the text on the tab itself followed by a date time stamp which resolves down to the minute to ensure that you get a, a pretty unique name for that file in the folder. And that is pretty much it. We can put as many of these as we like. Um, we can just keep generating the results. They'll keep appearing as tabs in our interface and we can export them in a few different ways when we decide we have what we want. There you go, the Amazon Product Scraper by Dylan Courier.